What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit for Mechanical Design Professional Certification. This is a preparation if you're going to take the certification exam. Okay, so previously we have learned how to pre uh, place our sprinklers. So this time, so let us learn what are the settings that we can configure in our mechanical settings. So what are the options? So let us explore the mechanical settings because this is one of the topic that you will encounter during the examination mechanical settings if you go to the systems you can open up your mechanical settings by clicking this arrow here from your HVAC panel mechanical panel or piping and plumbing or plumbing and piping panel so you can click that or you just type MS to open up the mechanical settings dialog okay so one thing that i would like you to notice is you will notice your duct settings here and also your pipe settings they have this option use annotation scale for single line fittings same with your uh, pipe settings so by default it is uh, checked so fittings have a use annotation scale parameter so when uh, use annotation scale for single line fittings is selected then use annotation scale will be selected for fittings place with this option enabled so every time you place a pipe or duct you will notice this one if I click okay so you will notice the option here the annotation scale is turned on okay because it is turned on in your mechanical settings so this is very useful if you want to annotate your uh, scale if you want to use the annotation scale for your fittings for your pipe and duct fittings so another thing that you might encounter during the examination is on our duct settings you also have here a, a way to modify the air density and air dynamic viscosity so these parameters affect during the duct sizing and pressure duct so maybe during the exam you will be asked to modify or change the value of air density or air dynamic viscosity and then run the duct and sizing uh, duct sizing for your design okay and aside from that you have here several prefixes and suffixes that you can specify for your uh, duct settings so you have here your prefix suffix which you also have that in your pipe settings so you also have the uh, prefix there and then you also have the suffix so you can specify and another thing angles so if you select the angles here so the angle settings control the angles that Revit will use for fittings so these are the options so you have use any angle and set an increment angle and use if specific angles okay so this is where you set it so every time you create your dock your pipe you can modify the way you draw or line up your pipe and duct you can control the fitting angle of that here in these settings and another thing is the conversion here so the conversion settings are used for auto layout tools so if you are into automatic layout for your piping or ducting so this is how you control how your uh, main duct or main pipe and branch pipe or branch duct will gonna be look like so you can specify here what is the pipe type what is the elevation for your example hydronic supply you can change that so let's say you want to change that to uh, sanitary so you can specify from here so types and elevations can be specified for the main and branch pipe or duct Another settings that you might uh, want to explore is the 
pipe used for segments and sizes like for example here on our pipe settings so you have segments and sizes so these settings control the material so there's the material and sizes for a pipe type so when used in size list is selected for a size then that size will be available when using the pipe tool and when used in sizing is selected for a size so that size will be used when the duct pipe sizing tool is being used all right so it's pretty self-explanatory so used in size list so you can check 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 or you can uncheck from here and same with your sizing so like for example so for the copper k let's say i do not want my six inches there so i can uncheck it so you can just uncheck it so the next time you use the pipe copper k so you will not be able to see that six inches okay so if i select here okay so i'm going to create a pipe so systems i select the pipe here and i'm gonna make sure that the pipe that i'm using here is copper k so that's my copper k so if i check here the segments and sizes so make sure that that particular size that you do not want is unchecked here so it's already unchecked because we changed that from the mechanical settings i'll just select here, okay and then you will notice here for the maximum size you will not be able to see that six inches here okay so if i select here okay and then select here okay so if i before i draw the pipe if i click the drop down there is no six inches here because we uncheck so you can control that on your segments and sizes so if you want to put it back just go back again to your mechanical settings and then segments and sizes for copper k and then you look for six inches here so you just tick that okay and then just create again the pipe again you can check the type properties here routing preferences edit for the copper k maximum size you should be able to see now the six inches there so when you create that pipe it's now here from the drop down there you go okay and aside from that from the mechanical settings for your dock so you have three options here when you create your dock so you have the rectangular you have the oval and then you have the round dock so there are settings for each in the mechanical settings dialog okay so again when use in size list is selected for a size then that size will be available when using the dock tool and when used in sizing is selected for a size then these sizes that is checked will be used when the duct pipe sizing tool is uh, used. Alright, so another thing that uh, you might want to check out is the fluids on our pipe settings. So you have here fluids. So if you click the fluids here, so these are the settings that control the temperature, uh, dynamic viscosity, and density of your fluids. So piping system types use the fluids. So whenever you create your piping uh, piping system, it uses fluid so you can control from here if you want to uh, modify your uh, fluid here. So you can create a new one or you can just delete a fluid here. So you can add new temperature and you can delete a temperature. Okay? So what else? So another settings here is we have the slopes. Okay, so when creating slope piping, the available slopes uh, option are specified in our slope uh, settings. So these are the default settings. So you can add a new one. You can delete a uh, slope. Okay, so if you select your pipe again. So here just select the slope up or slope down and then you will be able to select from here the slope that you would like to okay and another thing is let me go back again to the mechanical settings is your calculation here okay so this is the last one so this uh calculation settings 
for both the duct settings and pipe settings. So this calculation control the calculation methods used as well as whether or not analysis is enabled. This one here. Okay, you can explore your hydronic networks. If you are a designer, I'm not a designer, so I have no idea what are the what are these formulas about. But at least if you are a designer, you can check out from here. Okay, so you can check out your calculation. So mechanical settings is very important when setting up your project. So you can set up your hidden line, the duct settings, and then your pipe settings. So make sure you explore this before you take the examination. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.